Hello everybody and welcome to episode 2 of the Full Mingo Football Manager 2020 Forward Madison FC Series. Man, that's a mouthful. Let's just stick with Full Mingo. Welcome to episode 2 of Full Mingo. If you haven't seen the first episode of this series, make sure you go back and watch that. That should be here ish. In the last episode, we played our preseason friendlies. We signed a few players. We got some much needed depth into the squad and we beat an MLS team. Say what you will. It's preseason. It was a friendly. I don't care. We beat an MLS team. Us. Forward. Madison. We beat an MLS team. I don't know if you heard. It was pretty cool. And today we are going to be kicking off USL League One starting the season hopefully with a win. The first of many. Let's go. Before we get started make sure you drop a like on the video if you're excited about this series. Subscribe if you are new to the family. Click the bell icon so you don't miss a single episode of this series. Now let's get flocked up. It's aggressive. All right, today we are starting with our game against Jacksonville Armada. It is the first game of USL League One. We are playing at home, sunny Madison, Wisconsin. All right, we've been given an expectations review here. The board is looking for us to finish in the top half of the league. There's 24 teams in League One, so we're looking at 12th or better. They want us to reach the third round at a minimum in the U.S. FA Cup, uh, which I guess would be the U.S. Open Cup. Um, and they are looking for the second round minimum from the League Cup. So that's what they're expecting from us. All right, we are in our first game of the USL League One season, a home match against Jacksonville Armada. Here we go, Jay Demerit is the head coach of Jacksonville, a fellow Wisconsinite. That's pretty cool. So here is the team that we're going to be using. This is basically our full strength, first choice, starting 11. We have Alex Cap in goal, Carl Schneider, Hugo Arellano, Turbo Tobin, and Terrell Lowe across the back line. We have Jeffrey and Eric Leonard in the middle of the pitch. Don Smart and Paolo Jr. are our two wingers. And up top, we have JC Banks and Zaire Bartley filling in for the injured Wojcik Wojcik. All right, we are expected to win this one. Jacksonville is predicted to finish in 17th, I believe. So on paper, we are the stronger team. Now we need to go and prove it. And we're kicking off. Here we go. Turbo's got the ball. Big switch across to Don Smart. He cuts inside. Takes one. Paolo. J.C. Banks. Paolo Jr. drops it to J.C. Banks. First goal of the USL League season. Let's go. Fantastic start. Up the goes. Let's go. Carl Schneider with the throw in. Finds Don Smart. Back to Schneider. Drops to Jeff Michaud. Jeffrey. Oh, he almost has one from outside the box. He loves a long shot. Jeff does. Don Smart picks up the ball in the middle of the field. Forward to JC Banks. He's going to have another one. He does. JC Banks. Two shots, two goals. Assisted by Don Smart. Just before the half. This is a good start to the season. The home crowd is loving it. Starting the second half here. I would love to see Zaire Bartley get involved. Paolo Jr. has a corner. Finds Connor Tobin. Turbo with the header. Fantastic. Just like that, it's 3 nothing. Schneider's back on the ball. What's he going to do with it? Big switch. Jamal Cox on the right wing. He gets taken out. That's got to be a pen, sir. That's a second yellow for Nasco. He's gone. JC Banks makes him pay. Hat trick in the first game of the season. JC Banks, he is coming out on fire. That is an absolute player. Keep an eye on JC Banks. If he keeps this up, he is going to be lighting this league on fire. We're not done yet. We want some more. Toyama wants one. He's on the wing. He whips it in. JC Banks with his fourth. You got to be kidding me. The guy can't stop scoring. Four goals in one game. He is writing his name in the Madison history books right now. There's the final whistle. Cheers to JC Banks. Obviously, he gets man of the match. Plays a 9.8. Four goals from him. 
That's insane. Well, the first competitive game in charge, I'd say it went pretty well. 5-0 over Jacksonville Armada. So that game puts us into second place behind El Paso, who beat Birmingham 6-0. So they got us by that one on the goal differential. Good way to start the season with a big, strong win. Oh no. So in that match, we had to take Paolo Jr. off. He had a, an injury and turns out it was a gashed lower leg. So he's out for 12 days to three weeks. Hopefully we get him back as soon as possible. He is a huge player for us. And we had three players named to the League One Team of the Week. Obviously, JC Banks, Turbo Tobin, and Alex Cap in goal. Eight players from El Paso in the Team of the Week. That's an accomplishment. And our next game of the season is going to be against Pittsburgh Riverhounds. They are technically in 19th place right now, but after one game, that doesn't really mean too much. They're a good squad. We need to be ready for them. And the team that we are going to face them with is largely unchanged. Same back line, same midfield. This time we have Don Smart on the right side and Jiro Toyama on the left. That is to replace the injured Paolo Jr. And we have Vocek Vocek coming back in at the top of the formation. All right, we're looking to carry our form right into this game. We are away from home this time in Pittsburgh. Let's keep it going. Right away, Pittsburgh has a free kick. Goes over the bar, good. Here we go, JC Banks with the throw in, finds down smart, his cross is blocked. Leonard picks it up, JC Banks on the edge of the box. Vocek heads it right over the goal. Here we go, Vocek on a free kick. Curls it in, Vocek, Vocek, with the goal from the free kick, 35 yards out. Beautiful. That is the way to get things going. Again, right before half. We're scoring at good times here. Good way to go into the dressing room at halftime. Coming into the end of the match here. We just hold on with three extra minutes. And there's the final whistle. All right, a 1-0 win over Pittsburgh Riverhounds. We will take that. It was a relatively dominant performance. We had 22 shots, eight of which were on target. 57% possession, decent. We didn't quite take our chances like you would hope that we would, but overall, a decent performance. Two games, two wins. That puts us at the top of the table. That is just lovely to see. Look at that forward, Madison. First place, USL League 1. Six points from two games. All right, and our next game is going to be a tough one. We are in the League Cup first round against LA Galaxy 2. Now, remember, from our expectations, we are expected to get to the second round minimum. So we need to win this game in order to meet our expectations from the board. Luckily, it is at home at Bruce Stevens Field in Madison. We're going to stick with the same team, get a little familiarity here, hopefully keep our run of form going into the cup. Let's see what we can do. Remember, Hugo Ariano was actually released by the Galaxy. He played for LA Galaxy 2 and they released him. So a little bit of revenge here. He's possibly looking to show them what they're missing out on. Eric Leonard picks it up in the middle of the field. He finds JC Banks. JC Banks gets saved again. Not again, that was his first shot. Oh no, we've picked up an injury. Carl Schneider, who really is our only natural left-sided fullback. Valela goes in, but that is not his natural position. Hopefully he can do a job for us. Now Galaxy have a free kick, goes wide, good. All right, we got to halftime. Nil-nil at the break. The stats do show that we're doing pretty well. We have a lot more shots and shots on target, possession, all of that. We just don't have anything to show for it yet. All right, Toyama picks up the ball. Ariano now against his former team. He's looking for revenge. He's driving all the way up the field. Here we go, Toyama on the wing. He cuts in, JC Banks, he finishes. Yes, JC Banks puts us ahead over LA Galaxy 2. He is here to show what he can do. I told you he's gonna light this place on fire. Now Galaxy have a free kick. Off the bar and that, no, an own goal from Turbo Tobin. Off the crossbar, back off of Turbo. 
one one coming in the last 10 minutes here and there is the final whistle one one now i'm not sure if we go to extra time here or if we have penalties or if we just do a replay looks like there's extra time here we go kicking off extra time see what we can get from this game bartley picks it up on the left wing drops it back to toyama toyama into banks gets cleared free kick here good save from alex cap no they're calling a penalty all right Alex Cap, I believe in you. Total faith. Yes, he saved it. Alex Cap with the save. That is huge. Now we need to take that, push that forward. So we're into the second half of extra time. Still 1 1. Come on. Not now. Not now. At least get it to Pens. Williams on the left wing. Whips it in. Cap is there to clean it up. Very good. Toyama on the left wing. Bartley up top, all the way in, Jamal Cox, yes, with the header, the 117th minute winner, Jamal Cox, fantastic, we need to get defensive, come on now, settle down, calm this game down, don't let them through like that, no, <laughs> no, the 120th minute, all right, we're into penalties, JC Banks to start, JC Banks, come on. Yes! Good finish. That's what we like to see. Now, he only has like an 11 for penalties, and it goes down from there. So, Williams saved by Alex Cap. Let's go. I knew it was good to bring him in. He has proven his worth today. Turbo, let's go. Yes! Turbo Tobin, that's the way you like to see a star center back take a penalty. Now, Acosta, come on. All right. That was a good finish. Zaire Bartley, our young, exciting prospect. Right down the middle, too fast to stop. Good stuff. Now, Araujo is up for the Galaxy. Let's go, Alex Cap. Can't save that one. Ariano against his former team. The scenes. Yes! Hugo Ariano, he says, that is what you are missing. Depay needs to score this. If Alex Cap can save this, we're through. And he doesn't. Okay. He went the right way, just didn't quite get there. Terrell Lowe steps up. If he can score, we win the game. Terrell Lowe has done it for us. Every single one of our penalty takers scored. We're through on penalties, boys. Oh, my heart is pumping. Alex Cap with the big save in that penalty shootout and he played well throughout the game as well actually so he's my man of the match as far as I'm concerned Alex Cap doing big things and Carl Schneider is out for four weeks to two months that is not what we were hoping to see we got almost 10,000 for that so that's good and the board is happy that we've reached the second round. That was our expectation, so that's good. All right, and we have the draw for the League Cup second round. Let's draw everybody and go. Oh boy, we are playing my old club, the MLS side, Colorado Rapids. That's tough, it is what it is. That's the League Cup second round. We made it to the second round, which was what we were expected of. So anything beyond this is cake. All right, we actually just made a signing. Taylor Hunter is a left fullback. He can fill in for Carl Schneider, and he's actually better than Carl Schneider and was on a very affordable wage. Kind of a emergency signing, but also just good for the team. Affordable, we will take it. So he's gonna be able to slot in right away in our next game, which is against Rio Grande Valley Toros. Now they are in 20th position. They have zero points from the first two games, two losses. They are at a minus two goal differential. Uh, we have a little bit of changes here. We have Batista playing for Ariano, Hunter playing on the left. We have Don Smart and JC Banks as our wingers, Zaire Bartley and Vocek up top. We also brought in Brian Bement in the middle for just a tired uh, Jeff Michaud. So 
Here we go, Real Grand Valley Toros. Forward Madison FC in Madison. First versus 20th. It should only go one way, let's hope. Valela is out on the right wing. He whips in across to Vojcik, who heads it home. He is the USL League One Robert Lewandowski, the Polish Punisher. Let's go, Vojcik, Vojcik. Is he Polish? I should make sure I... Yes, he is. <laughs> Great way to start. Great things have been coming from Vojcik. He has had a, a really good start to the season. So last game in the league was his first game with the team and he scored a goal. So now two games in the league two goals. You can't really ask for too much more from your striker. Now Garza's through on goal. Good thing he is not as good as Vocek Vocek. Also, I just like saying his name. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but I'm going to keep going with it. And every time you have to say both because they're so close. I can't just say Vocek. JC Banks is on the wing. He's going to whip it in. Bartley drops it to Vocek Vocek. I'm telling you, the Polish Punisher. Bartley gets the assist with that little flick on header. Vocek doesn't miss. Here you go, another throw in. Leonard has it on the edge of the box. He's going to have one. Eric Leonard with the wonder strike from the edge of the box. Beautiful. 3 0 up in the 34th minute. Another throw in on that right side. Bartley whips it in. Doesn't find anyone. Brian Bemmons on the edge of the box. He finds Leonard. Leonard wants another one, and he gets one in the bottom corner. That left foot of his is decent. Got the left footed wonder strike from the edge of the box. And then another left foot curler into the bottom corner. And now Rio Grande Valley gets a man sent off. Brian Bennett finds Leonard on the edge of the box. Don Smart. This, I can't even imagine. I, I, I don't even know what to say right now. Wow. 5 0 up in the first half. I thought that this would go well because you know they're in 20th place but i did not think it would be going this well we are on track for our best game so far of the season they get a corner goes all the way across adams picks it up whips it back in that was a good header sam yunkwa don smart on the left wing he cuts inside finds brandon eaton up to danny tenorio has a Phenomenal strike from the edge of the box. Danny Tenorio. He's getting his first minutes of the season and he's proving why he should get more. All right, now they have a free kick. Adams, close range. It's a good goal. Not great defense from us there. A little bit of complacency, I, I might say. Coming into the end of the match here, there is the final whistle. Six to two over Rio Grande Valley. Vocic Vocic with two goals. Eric Leonard with another two goals. Don Smart and Danny Tenorio finish out the scoring. And that is where we are going to wrap up today's episode. You could not ask for a better run of games. Three wins from three games, nine points to start the season. I think we'll take it. We are sitting in first place. There are a number of other teams right up there with us on nine points, but between that and the win in the cup over LA Galaxy 2, I could not be happier. Great start to the season. Hopefully we can keep this going. It's a sign of things to come because we have plans. We are going to get out of this league. We're going to get out of the next league. We're going to keep moving forward. We're coming for that Champions League. You better believe it. If you've enjoyed this episode and you're excited to see where we can take it, make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new to the family around here. Click the bell icon so you don't miss a single episode of this series. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.